if uh, you retire at 60 and you live 117, you will need more and more and more health care, but who's going to pay for that? Technology is great, but you pay a huge price. This is unsustainable. This is the reason why the world is now moving more and more into promoting health and preventing disease. We don't need to talk about number of beds, we don't need to talk about number of doctors. If we talk about health, we talk about health. And health might start at the schools, might start at many other places. Essentially what we've got in healthcare is we've said to all the barns and nobles in the world, you have a monopoly on this market. Money is not a challenge. The challenge is freeing up the market. We don't need more money in healthcare and we need to get the incentives aligned. Empezar a pagarle a los médicos porque mantengan a la gente sana en vez de pagarle por la radiografía o la receta que hace. And that's what's happened in other industries. Technology has revolutionized them and the, and the unit cost has come right down, except in healthcare. Viejas organizaciones con nuevas tecnologías, más coste. Hemos de cambiar las organizaciones. Si no, no saldremos de aquí. Primary care is the key. People tend to go to the hospital for things that should be managed on a primary care setup. El sector necesita solvencia, necesita solvencia para seguir invirtiendo en la innovación que al final significa progreso. I am absolutely convinced now that in order to be successful in the future you have to be humble. Please start with your community. Take 10 years to get somewhere. The politicians are receptive if you do it in this way. Ultimately, if we want to have impact on prevention at scale on population level, we need healthcare to go viral. A veces pasa que hay un catalizador que lo cambia todo. Not just think on a sort of supply-driven way, what do we do, but how can we actually generate this viral dynamic that has in fact disrupted other industries. La identidad digital única en salud, por ejemplo, sería esto un catalizador. La receta electrónica interoperable y la historia clínica en manos del paciente pueden ser dinamizadores o catalizadores. Every vital sign that's ever been measured about you, all efficiently and accurately encapsulated in one place. La interoperabilidad se tiene que dar en el paciente. Lo que tenemos que hacer todos es darle a él, de alguna forma, todos los datos y que sea él el que decida. It will be me as the individual, as opposed to the hospital, who will hold that blockchain. For me, that is really the move.